Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, students. Hey, how are you tonight? Hello. Hello, students. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, students, are you there? Can you hear me? Because I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. hello good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Come on in. I'm fine. And you? I'm doing just great. Thank you for asking. Are we ready to start the class? Yes, I am ready. Okay. Today we're going to start with a new topic. And that's gonna be the possessives. T possessives. Let's see. There you go. So we're going to watch this video. Please pay attention, okay? Things. If you recall the conversation, it's a deception. It's a. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster which you learned on our previous lesson, you heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. 
if I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object, I'm going to grade out. And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co workers. Okay, check that out. We're going to provide examples with the first person. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry. I'm back. I am back. We're looking at the possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, y tenemos possessive name también. Okay. Possessive adjective, decíamos que son los que llevan el objeto al final. Okay. 
Um, de ahí tenemos los possessive pronouns, que son los que pues prácticamente no mencionamos el objeto. Ok. Y tenemos possessive names, donde ponemos pues el nombre, ponemos una comita, que es el apostrophe, y ponemos la letra S. Pat's blouse, que es la blusa de Pat. Julie's jeans, que son los pantalones de luna de Julie. O Rex's t-shirt, que es la camiseta de Rex. Vamos a hacer ejemplos con la primera persona. My, yeah, my house is nice. My, my car is, is red, etc. Ok, luego vamos a hacer uno en tercera persona. Por ejemplo, eh, this, is, this is her backpack, por ejemplo. Y podemos hacer un possessive name. Veamos acá, dice mi compañero de trabajo, que se dice coworker. Ahí lo tenemos con apóstrofe S. My coworker's computer. Computer is white. Dice que la computadora de mi compañero. Este de mi compañero es este apóstrofe S. Possessive, ese se llama possessive name. ¿Ah? For example, my father's my father's cell phone is an iPhone. My father's cell phone is an iPhone. Can you give examples using possessives? Volunteers. Okay. Okay, volunteers, please. Are you with me or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, we are. All right, all right. For example, Lorena. Okay, Lorena, go ahead. Um, my bed is is white. My bed is white. That is correct. My bed is white. Mm -hmm. Who else? Let me see. I'm seeing some hands raised right here. I see Edith. Go ahead, Edith. Okay, yo dije, hace, my bed oh. is white. Okay. Um, Ana, Georgina, go ahead. My pajama is pink. My pajama is pink. Thank you. Thank you. Podemos decir cosas eh, usando possessive name. Por ejemplo, Allison. Con posesivo, Alison apostrofe S. Alison's, yes? Alison's eh, favorite food is pizza. Just an example. Okay? Try to give examples. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más tiene ejemplos? Prepare your examples. Provide your examples. Tratemos tres minutos más. Three more minutes. Can you give me examples? Y si usamos uh, possessive pronouns, these socks are mine. For example, this computer is mine. Yes? Go ahead. Y Carlos David. ¿Quién era? Edith? Eh, Carlos David. Yo, yo. Ah, bueno. Vamos con Carlitos primero. Carlos David, go ahead. Okay. Eh, una duda era, eh, mm -hmm. en este caso, si yo... Dijera my, eh, my cards con el apóstrofe S. Estaría bien, bien mencionar esa parte, my cards. Sí, es que, es, es que vas a decir oh, alguna característica de tu carro, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, my car's engine, that's 2.1. El, el motor de mi carro, my car's, cars. engine. Ajá, entonces das la pronunciación de la S, cars. Vas a hablar de una característica, ¿verdad? Puedes decir, okay. my car's brand, my car's brand, brand, que es marca, my car's brand is John Day, for example. Ah, ok. Eh, my, eh, mm, for example, my, my eh, pants is black. Pantalones. Sería yes. plural. My pants are. Uh, my pants are black. Correct. My pants are black. Very nice. Very nice. ¿Alguien más tiene ejemplos? 
Y yo. Go ahead. The sneakers is mine. Va, the sneakers es plural, miss. ¿Cómo sería ahí? The no. sneakers is plural. They are sneakers, my. O this. Ay, ya me confundió. Ah, bueno, si están cerquita, vamos a decir these. These uh -huh. sneakers, y pronunciamos la S porque sneakers es plural, ok. These okay. sneakers are mine. Ahí okay. lo está diciendo usted con possessive pronoun. Si no, okay. tiene que decir, these are my sneakers. These okay. are my sneakers. Okay. All right. Está bien. Nicely done. Quiero ver si tengo algo de esto. Permítanme, permítanme. De los pausas. Vaya, me van a hacer unos ejercicios. Yeah. There you go. Bueno, me van a hacer unos ejercicios ahorita solo para practicar. Esto es de Positives. Le van a dar clic al siguiente link. It's right there. It's right there. Démosle clic y vamos a practicar ahí seis minutos. Six minutes. Todos ahí en el link. Go ahead. Practice Positives. Practice Positives. Six minutes. Let's go. ¿Ya lo tienen? ¿Les abrió? ¿Did it open? ¿Sí abrió, chicos, el link? Yes. Oh, yes, okay. coach. Yes, yes teacher. Perfect, yes, perfect, teacher. perfect. Work yes, it out. Teacher. Ahí, cinco minutos, cinco minutos, five minutes. Una pregunta, Tich. All right, guys, les queda ahí ese link para que puedan practicar los positives. Practice in your house as much as you can. It's very important. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Vamos a continuar. We have to continue. We have to continue with more information here. Vamos a ver ahora weather and seasons. Repitamos weather. 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 Que viene siendo weather. el clima, ¿verdad? Weather, weather. and... Weather. Weather. 
distance around the world. Weather, que es el clima, and seasons, que son las stations of the year. Yes. Let's watch this video now. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons, and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. All right. It's very let cold. See, let me see. Let me see this one. We have the weather here. Here. We have the spring. Repeat spring, which is primavera. Repeat spring. 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 We have spring. summer. Summer, which is summer. verano, right? Summer. 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 And we have fall. Fall, which is otoño. Cold. Cold. And we have Cold. winter, winter, which is invierno. All right. What is your favorite? What is your favorite uh season? What is your favorite season? My favorite season. My favorite winter. Winter. Summer. Summer yes. Because vacation, huh? Yes. Oh, summer. Yeah. All right. All right. Now this is talking about the weather. For example, it's warm. Repeat, it's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's very sunny. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's hot. It's hot and humid. Or it's cool. ¿Qué significa cuando está cool? ¿Quién me dice? Frío, frío. El bien, bien, bien frío, súper frío. No. Cold. ¿Se parecerá cold? al cold? A este cold, este cold que está acá, C-O-L-D, a uh, Q. Cool. Helado. Helado, como con bien. Helado. Like Helado. fresh. Fresco, similar, fresco. similar. Sí, la única diferencia es de que eh, cool... Es un frillito, pero de ese frillito que se puede disfrutar, ¿verdad? <risa> que no es, pues, así, que te tiene que incomodar un poquito el frío, sino que es un frío disfrutable. It's cool, it's nice, it's fresh, como decían por ahí, it's fresh. Windy es, está haciendo viento, windy, and snowing está nevando. It's very cold. Yeah. What is today's yeah. weather in El Salvador? It's hot. It's hot. hot. It's hot. Uh -huh. it's warm hot. and humid. It's, it's warm so and humid. Yes, because yesterday was raining. Estuvo lloviendo yesterday, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, questions? You have any questions? No questions. De nuevo, otoño, coach. Fall. Fall. F A L L. 
Yes, sir. That's right. Do we have what stations of the year do we have in El Salvador? In El Salvador, we only have two stations. Do you know? Mm. Yes. Hot. Summer and winter. winter. Summer and winter. winter. That's mm -hmm. totally right. What is your favorite weather? What is your favorite weather, huh? For me, summer. Okay, but summer is the station of the year. I'm talking about weather, like hot, cold, raining, snowing, windy, cloudy, humid. Do you understand? A little cold. For me, a little of both. A little of both? Which ones? Winter and summer. Mm, like something between, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, who else? Who else? Who else? What is your favorite weather? My favorite weather is raining. Rainy, huh? You play yes. romantic music, huh? <laughs> um, let's see. Something like that. Okay, something like that. Excellent okay. job, guys. Thank you so much for your participation. Patient. Veamos acá. Let me see. We have a conversation. Este, what's the matter que está acá, guys? Es como, ¿cuál es el problema, verdad? ¿Qué hay de malo? ¿Algo malo pasa? What's the matter? A ver, everybody, repeat. What's the matter? What's, what's the, the matter? matter? What's the matter? Es como, what's the problem? What's the pro problem. Okay, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. It is snowing. It's very cold. And it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? 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 No, they are at home. No, they, no are they are at home. They are at home. Well, you're wearing um your coat. Well, well, well you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm. But my coat, but my coat is warm. Isn't warm. Isn't warm. Warm. And um, I am not wearing boots. And I am not wearing boots. Wearing boots. Wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Okay. Okay. Let's take a taxi. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. In coach. Nice, nicely done. Do you have any question about this conversation? Is it clear? Okay, in the lesson 4.9, we have a new objective. It says the statements using the present continuous. Remember, we're using the present continuous for actions that are happening right now. Let's pay attention to this video. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. 
subject plus the verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Okay, so we're going to prepare some examples using the My structure. My wife is cooking. About what are you doing right now and what are your family members doing right now and what are your friends doing right now and, and what aren't they doing right now? For example, um, my my best friend, well, first example is the first person, right? I, for example, I am, I am teaching English. I am teaching English right now, okay? Um, my brother, my brother is studying online, maybe right now. And my father and my mother are having dinner. Yes? Can you make examples like this? Can you give me an example like this? Do you have a volunteer? Si me pueden agregar también las conjunctions, sería fantástico. Fantastic. Edith Herrera, go ahead. Bueno, entonces, Carlos David, go ahead. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I can't listen. Can you listen to me? Uh, uh, sorry, sí, sorry. Sí, uh, I am studying. I am studying. Uh, I studying English. Uh, with my classmates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
no sé, no sé si está bien. Si está, está bien, está bien. Inglés con mis compañeros. Con mis compañeros, ajá. Está bien, perfecto. Tratemos de incluir las conjunctions. Cuando, cuando usamos en es para agregar información. Por ejemplo, I am learning English and I am copying the class on my notebook. Dos acciones. Right? Okay. O podemos usar el but. Decimos algo positivo o algo negativo. Right? I am wearing eh, boots, but I am not wearing pajamas. So, something affirmative and something negative. Quiero que me jueguen con eso unos cinco minutos. Preparen ejemplos. Right? Preparen ejemplos usando um, the first person, I. Podemos usar una tercera persona, ya sea he o she, right? ¿Qué están haciendo? Your sister, what is your sister doing y qué no está haciendo? For example, my father, my father is sleeping right now. Obviously, my father is sleeping right now. He is not watching television, se los garantizo. He is not watching television. Él no está viendo televisión. Entonces, yo puedo usar but ahí. Um, my father is sleeping, but he is not watching television right now. Okay. Miguel Ángel, go ahead. Uh, my mom is taking a rest. Uh -huh. And I uh, and I am uh, watching and listening this class, this English class. <laughs> Great job. Good job, Miguel. I like it. Los demás? Brandon, do you have an example? Uh, yes, uh, example is my mother is cooking the dinner and I listen to you, I listen in the class. Excellent, excellent. ¿Me puedes decir algo negativo? Uh, my sister is not studying, is not studying. Uh -huh. And you? And I study in the class. Va, esa es positiva, una negativa tuya. I am studying the class, but... I... I not... I'm not... I'm not watching TV. I am not watching TV. Muy bien. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguien más me tiene ya examples? Ana Georgina. Puedo... Oh, Miguel. Dale, Miguel, dale. In this moment, I'm not taking a shower. Mm -hmm. Can you use a conjunction, not, and or but? In this moment, I'm not taking a shower. Okay. It's correct. It's perfect. Ahí podemos agregar uh, un, un but. In this moment, I am not taking a shower, but maybe uh, later I am taking a shower. Later, I am taking a shower. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My pleasure. Preparen ejemplos así, porfa. No los siento tan activados a todos. Creo que solo los mismos están participando. Creen sus ejemplos um, afirmativo y negativo, si es posible. Primera persona, tercera persona, right? Y alguien aparte, right? Como un best friend. Five minutes. Les doy five minutes y preparan esos ejemplos, please. Y luego me los disparan así, sin que tengamos que pensarlos tanto, porque ya los van a tener escritos, right? Five minutes. Let's go.
Okay, who has examples for me? Who has examples for me using present continuous? What are you doing right now, guys? Me, I am teaching English to you. I am helping you with your classes. I am correcting <clears throat> you. Yes, go ahead, Edith, go ahead. Okay, uh, listening to the class. Yes. Uh, um, I'm wearing a short and wearing white sandals. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Wonderful. Please. Thank you. Jocelyn, go ahead. Okay. Um, right now, I am practicing English. Yes, that's correct. And I am not eating a snack. I am not eating. I am not I'm, uh -huh. eating. I am not, I am not eating a snack. Oh, me. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. All right, Miguel Angel, go ahead. Um, I'm polish, polishing my shoes because they are they they're dirty. Mm -hmm. they're dirty. Mm -hmm. And another example, I am brushing my teeth before going to bed. Okay, I am brushing. I am brushing my teeth before going to bed. Yes, that's totally right. Thank you, sir. King Mas, Andrea, Thank go you. ahead. Okay, I'm not hearing the dinner right now, but maybe after the class, I'm going to, I going to eat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Makes sense. Tiene mucho sentido. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. No sé si nos ha quedado claro. You have any question about this topic? Por cierto, teníamos la tarea que me iban a decir lo que estaban vistiendo, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Mm -hmm. I just remember. <laughs> ok, so let me see. Mientras pasamos la lista, nos dan lo que están vistiendo. What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? Yeah. Por ejemplo, Teacher Caleb today is wearing a black shirt black jeans and brown shoes <laughs> okay what about you alcira patricia rivera mejia are you there nope okay alison michelle guerrero hernandez are you there present pero no hice la tarea es que no sube la clase de ayer no pude all right means try to watch the video that was Alison Guerrero, right? Sí. Thank you much. Alison Stephanie Juarez Tovar. Present. Do you have a homework for me? What did you what are you wearing today? Yes, uh, I am wearing white blouse. Ah, white blouse. I, uh, I am wearing short. No, I am wearing black short. Black shorts, okay. Shoes. I am wearing and um, white shoes. And 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 what are you doing right now? Bah, falta uh, familiarizarnos más con esta pregunta de presente continuo. Ana Georgina Aguilar de Flores era, verdad? Present. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. La tarea, profe, no se la di. Georgina. Go ahead, Georgina. I am wearing a pijama, a pajama. Pajamas. It's color pink. It's color pink. Vamos a decir, I am wearing pink pajamas. Pink pajamas, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Excellent. Um, I am wearing thank pink you. pajamas. My pleasure, Miss Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Are you there? Present. Um, the homework. Um, I every day use glasses. Glasses. And glasses. 
Mm -hmm. And today I use a blue skirt and red shorts. Ahí no, a, a, ahí no usamos a solo red shirts. Red shirts mm -hmm. and black shoes. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much. Entonces, vámonos con Brandon Scott Manzano Reyes. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Do you have a homework for me? Um, yes, I am wearing a green t-shirt and a short uh, and a black shirt. Todo va bien hasta que llegamos a shorts. Porque estamos poniendo el, el artículo a, a shorts, pero shorts no es singular. Son pantalones cortos. Son dos piernas, entonces ahí pues tenemos que usar, no tenemos que usar artículos, solo decir eh, noun tal cual y el color si es posible, ¿verdad? Black shorts, green shorts, blue shorts, etc. ¿Ok? Ok. Who was that? Carlos David, who was that? Carlos David López Amaya. Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla. Carlos José Guerra Castro. César Augusto Pérez Guzmán. Here I am, teacher. Hey, you have a homework for me? What are you wearing today? I'm wearing a black shirt mm -hmm. and blue jeans. No shoes, no sneakers, no flip flops, no sleepers. No. <laughs> chuñas, chuñas. Chuñas. <laughs> okay, Cristian Giovanni Peñate Campos, are you there? Uh, present. Hey, you have uh, a homework for me? Wearing, uh, yes, uh, I am wearing uh, blue jeans and white uh, shirt. And a white shirt, and a white shirt. Cuando es singular, si sí usamos el, el, el A, ah, ok. Ok. Cristian Giovanni Perfecto. Peñate Campos eres, ¿verdad? Sí. Excelente, Cristian. Dania Guadalupe Bolaños López, ¿estás ahí? Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. Ok. ¿Puedo tener tu homework, por favor? Yes. I wearing a blue t-shirt. I wearing gray shorts. I wearing a black shoes. Black socks. Socks. Vaya, uh -huh. está bien. Solo que me repetiste. I am wearing. I am wearing. I am wearing. And I am wearing. Solo era una vez. Oh. Right al inicio. Mm -hmm. Can oh, you tell me? Can you tell me something negative? Oh no, negative no. Por ejemplo, I am not wearing pajamas. Or I am not wearing uh, a um, cap. I am wearing not clothes. I am not wearing. I am not wearing. Muy bien, I vámonos am not con. Wearing. Okay. Tú eras Diana, verdad, Diana? Sí, sí, Cristabel. Okay, thank you, Miss Cristabel. Diego Alejandro Álvarez López. Edith Lorena Herrera Vázquez. Present teacher. Homework? Yes. Um, I am wearing is a white color blues. Vaya, me está dando dos verbos to be ahí. ¿Qué, qué está pasando? <laughs> me dio am y uh, me dio okay. is. Ok. ¿Otra vez? I'm, I'm wearing a white color blues. Ah, a white color uh -huh. blouse. Porque es una. Uh, a white color okay. blouse. A white color blouse. Um, is is gold earrings um wearing is black shorts um white sandals i'm not wearing uh pajamas thank you so much edith verdad sí. emily yvette alejo mendes present hi emily do you have a homework for me yeah i am wearing t-shirt gray ah Ah, because it's singular. Ah, gray t-shirt. Ah, uh, a t-shirt gray. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, 
gray t-shirt. A gray t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And short yellow. Okay. And Chunya. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Thank you so much. Let me see. Esmeralda Abigail Martinez Martinez. Gloria Abigail Ramirez Alvarado. Hilary Raquel Mancilla Leiva. Buenas noches. Bueno, good night. Hilary. Yes. Hi, Hilary. Can I have your homework, please? Um, I am wearing blue jeans. Okay. Um, blue shirt. Ah, blue shirt. Ah, blue shirt. Ah, blue shirt. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, sandals yellow. And yellow sandals. And yellow, and yellow sandals. sandals. Nice. I am not wearing gloves. Wow, additional. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's go with Jacqueline Stephanie Garcia de Escobar. Are you in the house? Present teacher. I teacher, I know it's a little pronunciar, but I am. Go ahead, go ahead. Vamos. Is water. Vamos a decir, I am wearing. I'm wearing. Dark pink and color red and um, so este so es brown color. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. What else? What else? That's it. Thank you so Pero much. I... Thank you so much. Entonces era Jacqueline, ¿verdad? Jaime Antonio Martínez Chávez. Ok. Vamos rapidito ahorita porque ya vamos de salida. Jessica Cristina García Castillo. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present teacher. Josué Abel Luna Villalta. Juana, ok, Josué, I got it. Juana Margarita Sea Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you, Juanita. And Julissa Margarita Contreras Alvarado. Jala Vanessa Bernal de García. Present. Ok. Katia Stephanie Martínez Cárdenas. Mission in action and Miguel Angel Melendez Aquino. Present coach, I'm wearing a dark a green t shirt. Ah, uh, ah, ah, yeah. uh, a dark green t shirt. Yes, and yes, okay, and um, blue jeans and uh, brown belt. Uh, and, in, a, uh, in a brown belt. In a brown belt. And in a brown belt. Uh -huh. And uh, a blue sneakers. And blue sneakers. And, okay. Yes. And I am wearing beard. I am wearing a beard. Guys, you have to distinguish the difference between some so many questions that you're learning right now. What are you wearing? That's the new question for you. Okay. What are you wearing today? Um, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? A ver, Miguel, what are you doing right now, Miguel Angel? Uh, and I'm, I'm listening and watching the class. Fantastic, fantastic. Carla, what are you wearing today, Carla? Um, I am wearing a light green blue. I am wearing a red uh, skirt and um, black sandal. Great, fantastic, thank you. And what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Um, 
No, no le entiendo. Oh, oh, me está debiendo con la segunda pregunta. Le queda de tarea estudiarla mucho durante el fin de semana. ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? I am taking a class. I am listening ah. to the teacher. Jaime Martínez, go ahead. Teacher, no sé si teacher. me, sí, no sé si me llevó la, la asistencia porque no escuché que me. What's your name? What's your name? Eh, Jaime Antonio Martínez Chávez. Eh, teacher, igual el, eh, el mismo condición que no escuché mi nombre. Carlos sí, no, My hunger tampoco me la, me la pidió. O sea, por eso, por eso, teacher, es que le estaba consultando. No sé si me, me tomó la asistencia. ¿Cuál es tu bueno, nombre? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Jaime Antonio Martínez Chávez. Jaime Antonio Martínez Chávez. Sí, te tengo aquí de asistencia, sí. Ya, ok. Thank you so yeah, much. Hunger. Homework. Dame el homework, dame el homework, pues. Uh, I'm wearing blue jeans, uh, a black t-shirt, mm -hmm. and brown shoes. And brown shoes. And brown shoes. Okay. Está bien, I like it, I like it. And what are you doing right now? Uh, I... Uh, I, I am a student. I am studying. Studying. Perdón, Estoy am estudiando. Studying. Estoy Entonces, okay. las preguntas que van a estudiar para el fin de semana son dos. What are you wearing? ¿Qué estás vestiendo? Y la otra es What are you doing? Eh, se las voy a hacer así random el lunes. Ustedes tienen que estar listos para responder. Eh, what are you wearing? It's ah, I am wearing a black t-shirt. I am wearing blue jeans, etc. What are you doing? Ah, I am listening to my class online. I am having an English class right now. So, tenemos que distinguir las dos preguntas porque es la introducción. Con esas dos preguntas les hacemos la introducción a este nuevo eh, tiempo gramatical que es el presente presente continuo. Practiquen, please. Practice. And I'll see you on Monday. Happy weekend, guys. Bye. Happy weekend. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you. For bye. Bye. Enjoy it. Bye. Enjoy it. Practice your English. Good Goodbye. Night. Good night, everybody. Good night.